give me just a couple of minutes to introduce to you some highly committed participants at Compass Bible Church of Aliso Viejo who are busy working every single day, serving our community on the front lines as they provide us and our community with a variety of very important services. I am a nurse at Mission Hospital. I'm a respiratory therapist at Kaiser Irvine. I am a firefighter paramedic. I work at Mission Hospital. I work at Costco. We both work here at Trader Joe's in Aliso Viejo. And I'm currently assigned to the Corrections Division for our Sheriff's Department. I'm a family practice physician for Memorial Care Medical Group. I work full time as a firefighter in the city of Laguna Beach. I am the store manager of the Irvine Costco. I work as a nurse at Chop Children's in Orange on the medical unit. I'm an ER technician over at Hope Newport. I'm a captain with the Los Angeles County Fire Department. I work for the Orange County Sheriff's Department. I'm a ER tech at Hogue Hospital in Newport. I'm a registered nurse at Mission Hospital. And I'm a family physician with Memorial Care Medical Group. I am a pediatric registered nurse at Chalk at Mission Hospital. Coming to you from Southern California Prosthetics. I'm an internal medicine and pediatrics physician uh, for a nonprofit clinic called Altamed. Things are quite different than what we're normally used to dealing with. Our experiencing people that are sick with COVID um, on a daily basis, uh, multiple times during the day. Here at the front lines of Chick-fil-A, we are still open uh, as a drive through only. Lots of operational changes like everybody else, but uh, we are still in business. Right now, times are pretty crazy. It's pretty different. We are only allotted one mask indefinitely until it's uh, visibly soiled or broken. We have long shifts inside the warehouse due to many people not showing up to work because of the fear of getting the virus. We're here to serve the community. Um, keeping ourselves uh, as safe as possible, making sure that we don't bring anything home to our families. Hopefully we'll be seeing the beginning of the end uh, of this situation here soon. What we're seeing in the hospital right now is a lot of collaboration. We see a lot of different disciplines coming together, work together. We're seeing people come in from outpatient retirement to come in and help. Our work environment changes every day and um, there's a lot of pressure. So just prayer that we could just lay that all before God and not try and take that on ourselves. The leadership of our local fire service and the leadership of our local hospital, they're dealing with a very uh, complex and dynamic problem that seems to be changing on a daily basis. We've got 95 people here and they love working and they need to work. Um, we've got single moms, we've got families of five or six that only have one income now. It's a serious deal. Every time we go into work, we have to reset that quarantine clock, so we have to be in isolation for a longer period of time, pretty much till this whole thing ends. We are thankful that COVID-19 has not been as severe on the kids as it has been with the adults, so please keep praying for that to stay the same and for God to protect our children. We're really looking forward to being able to get back again as soon as possible. In the meantime, we'll be praying for each other. We love you all. Have a great day. Thank you for uh, always thinking of us and checking on us over at Mission. We appreciate it and uh, everybody stay safe. Please be praying for the workers on the front line uh, that we'd be protected from infection with the virus. Thank you guys for thinking about us and, and praying for us. Thank you for your prayers. I appreciate it. We need it. Please keep the firefighters and first responders in your prayers as we all go through this together. Thank you very much for your prayers. I appreciate it. Please be praying for the salvation of um, people during this time, for our healthcare workers, for our patients, that people would see that um, our only hope is in Jesus. This is an opportunity for us to share the gospel with those that don't know Christ. It's getting pretty hard, but I know that God is in control and I'm really thankful to have you guys um, praying for us in the meantime. Please keep praying for us and we thank you so much for your support. I'm just so thankful for my wonderful church family and just all the prayers during these crazy and difficult times. I miss my church family, so the prayers would be much appreciated. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Compass Bible Church, we love you. We're so thankful to you out there serving on the front lines, serving our community. We love you guys. We're so grateful for you. We pray for you and we pray for our whole church. We want you all to pray who are watching this. We can't wait to be back here together on campus.